aluminum sulfate is a very valuable nitrogen source. In addition to the sulfur, it has the nitrogen, which is in the ammonium form, and the ammonium form is very uh, efficient in a variety of conditions. In the case of acid or neutral soils, ammonium sulfate resists losses via volatilization as ammonia gas. It also does not have the issue of CO2, greenhouse gas emissions. In the case of alkaline soils, we don't have nitrite or ammonia issues as well. And if saline or saline sodic calcareous soils, it is a preferred source as well in those conditions. When it comes to uh, leaching uh, on sandy soils, on coarse soils, it resists uh, leaching. And also in the heavier soils where you can get uh, conditions where the soil is saturated with water, it resists losses via denitrification. In, in both cases, it would be good uh, from an environmental point of view because less leaching means less groundwater pollution, uh, less issues eventually with drinking water, and in the case of minimized denitrification is uh, good in the sense that you reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Now also it can be blended with other nitrogen sources including urea, making it a, a more efficient source. As well, it can help with phosphorus and micronutrient availability, whether it's from nutrients that are already in the soil or applied as a fertilizer. Both nitrogen and sulfur work really close together, uh, because they are both key components of amino acid pro proteins and you also need them for the synthesis of chlorophyll. So having them both uh, together, it, it really amplifies the benefits of both nutrients to the plant. Ammonium nitrate has been a popular nitrogen source for top dressing forages and side dressing row crops. And the big reason is because loss via ammonia volatilization is not an issue like it would be in surface applied applications of urea. Now, due to heightened security measures, ammonium nitrate has become harder and harder to get. So fertilizer dealers and growers alike, they've been looking for an alternative to ammonium nitrate. And they have found ammonium sulfate. Uh, a study at the University of Missouri uh, really compared ammonium sulfate as an alternative to ammonium nitrate and, and several other sources as well. And they found that ammonium sulfate will yield just as good or even better in some cases than ammonium nitrate. Ammonium sulfate does not just replace a, a great source, but it also supplies sulfur to the crop. That's great because sulfur is really the fourth major nutrient and adequate supplies of sulfur have to be available to ensure the nitrogen is utilized uh, fully by the crop. It handles very, very well. It uh, stores well, it stores well in a bin. Uh, it doesn't set up. It seems like it, it, it stores very, very well. It stores for two, three, four months in a bin with no setup whatsoever. We blend it with all the major ingredients, MAP, potash. Uh, we blend it with urea, even some ammonium nitrate we blend it with. And so, uh, we have very good luck with it. It blends fine. We don't have issues with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good product. We like to sp uh, split apply our ammonium sulfate. We usually broadcast uh, with the urea or another broadcast blend. Uh, we try to get 24 pounds of actual sulfur, so 100 pounds of product on as a broadcast. And then we go another additional 30 pounds uh, in our starter blend on a two by two side by side to try and achieve about 30 pounds of actual sulfur. On forages, primarily we go between 50 and 80 pounds of ammonium sulfate blended with our other MAP and potash products. Uh, we find it really helps green those plants up fast in the spring when, when the weather warms up and makes the other nutrients available to the plant relatively uh, much quicker and we find that it gives us a better feedable, usable protein in our feeds. On wheat ground, uh, the same thing in the springtime is the crops greening up and we go in with our first application of broadcast. Uh, it's usually a split application of urea and ammonium sulfate, right up to 100 pounds of actual product, and we're finding significant uh, response to that. Have you seen also quality in improvements or do you do you they take a look at the quality? Definitely we've seen test weight improvements in the in the wheat coming off. Uh, we see better plant health and we're seeing definitely yield advantage.
to uh, you know upwards of eight to ten bushels consistently.